Hello World. I'm Robin Catling, and this is Write On. Join me in my author journey as I delve into the craft of writing, bringing you tools, tips, and lessons learned the hard way so you don't have to. How big a world do you need? One important question when writing fantasy how big a world do you need? Cast around for writing advice in the fantasy genre, and you're told of all of the essentials. World building, magic systems, fantastical races, religions, governments, maps. These are all good. They serve the story, but they aren't the story. It's the characters. Where to start? When I started my series, I didn't have time for all of that. I didn't want to reproduce The Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, Malazan, or Wheel of Time. One, I don't have the time. Two, that's not the scope of story I care about. Two, that's not the scope of story that I care about. I want to get on with things. Two years and a five-book plan later, I still want to get on with things. Story things, not fantasy compendium things. Feel the width. Book one of my series is a western with swords. I have a protagonist and two helpers. On the run, in a wilderness. No elves, no dragons, the softest bit of soft magic you've ever read, and a smattering of religion. Things I don't have to explain too much. And no maps. My wilderness is a big blank space on the map. So I don't need one. Yes, I refer to far-off lands, an empire, three or four cultures. There's reference to a ruinous civil war that ended badly, as most do, but not much detail that anyone wants to talk about. What I do have is a struggling protagonist, a big hostile landscape, some scary bad guys, and a chase. It's a pursuit western. Small world, big conflict. Intimate settings, broad themes. High stakes, important choices. If you need a map. I didn't start by drawing a map. I started with the characters in a tight spotlight and gradually widened the light around them to illuminate the parts of the world that I needed. Book two crosses the great river back to civilization. New bad guys arrive. New lands and cultures light up. The soft magic remains soft. Social mores and prejudices firm up, but it's still a pursuit western. We're riding the trail, acquiring found family. It's still about the characters. Still no elves or dragons. Book three goes to the capital, to the heart of empire. Now there's some work to do. Big city, new bad guys, new threats, but all very close to home. The city, the empire, those are backdrops and I only need certain parts of them. There's no massive water fight, no fellowship to break apart across multiple plot lines. Plenty of fantasy novels go down that route. Sure, if you have a neat idea for a magic system, a culture, a religion, a landscape, write it up. But those only provide new twists. It's character that drives the story, not the drapes and the teacups. So ask yourself, how big a world do you need? That's all for this time. Thanks for stopping by. You can like and subscribe to the channel, or go to robincatling.info to check out the blog.